Decoding Customs Regulations Importing Electronics from Malaysia Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be discussing the customs regulations that you need to be aware of when importing electronics from Malaysia. As a customs brokerage firm, it is our goal to provide you with valuable information that can help streamline your importing process. So, let's dive right into it. To begin, let's quickly recap the role of a customs broker. A customs broker acts as an intermediary between the importer and the customs authorities, ensuring that all required documentation is properly filed and that goods are in compliance with regulations. When importing electronics from Malaysia, it is crucial to have the necessary customs documentation in place. This includes the commercial invoice, packing list, bill of lading or airway bill, and any relevant permits or licenses. These documents will be required for customs clearance. Every product imported into a country is classified under a specific HS code. Electronics, being a diverse category, have various HS codes depending on the specific type of product. It is important to correctly identify the right HS code for your electronics to ensure compliance and accurate duty calculations. When importing electronics from Malaysia, you should be aware of the duties and taxes that may be levied on your goods. The rate of duty will depend on factors such as the HS code, country of origin, and any preferential trade agreements in place. Additionally, value-added tax VAT, may also be applicable. The importer security filing, commonly known as the ISF, is a requirement for ocean shipments arriving in the United States. It must be filed at least 24 hours before the vessel departs from the port of loading. The ISF provides important information about the cargo to U.S. Customs and Border Protection to enhance security measures. A customs bond is a financial instrument that serves as a guarantee to the customs authorities. It ensures that the importer will comply with all customs regulations and pay any duties, taxes, or penalties as required. A customs bond is essential for most commercial imports into the United States. Electronics are often subject to intellectual property rights IPR, regulations. These regulations protect copyrighted materials, trademarks, and patents. As an importer, it is essential to ensure that your electronics comply with IPR regulations to avoid any legal disputes. Electronics imported from Malaysia must meet the safety standards and regulations of the importing country. For example, in the United States, Electronic products must comply with Federal Communications Commission FCC, regulations for electromagnetic emissions and safety requirements. Certain electronics may be subject to restrictions or prohibitions due to safety concerns, national security issues, or other regulatory reasons. It is crucial to familiarize yourself with the specific restrictions imposed by the importing country to avoid potential issues and delays. Enforcement of intellectual property rights is essential to combat counterfeit electronics. Importers should be aware that customs authorities have the power to detain and seize goods if they suspect intellectual property rights infringement. Therefore, it is essential to ensure that your electronics are sourced from reputable suppliers. That concludes our discussion on customs regulations for importing electronics from Malaysia. We hope that this information has been helpful in understanding the key factors involved in the customs clearance process for electronics. Don't forget to stay tuned to our channel for more informative videos on customs brokerage and international trade. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Remember to watch our upcoming videos for more insights and information on customs brokerage, customs bond, importer security filing, ISF, and international trade. Thank you for your support, and we'll see you soon.